butter dump. It's free. If you hadn't slapped that manager in the puss, we wouldn't have to be here anyway. I was engaged to pose in that place, not stooge for the comic. Posing's artistic. I, <coughs> I never caught a cold doing it, nor did you. Well, I move about. Besides, I wear more. A couple of sequins, that's all. No, nah, I'm bored. I'm bored with nothing to look at except your ugly mug. I resent that. But I know what you mean, though. Well, we need new faces. Female, preferably. <laughs> and why stop at faces? Look. Oh, yes. How much you know the rules? You know, I envy the doctors here. At least they can go to the flicks. Well, we're doctors, too. Yes, that's... We're doctors, too, old man. The assistant said, oh, I'm not blaming anyone. But I said, I am. I'm blaming the censor. Yes, I know. You told me. Oh, good afternoon. I'm Dr. Burke, and this is Dr. Hare. Oh, come in. Excuse me. I haven't seen you here before. No, I've just come back off leave, actually, and my colleague here has only just joined the staff, haven't you? Hmm? Oh, yes, yes. Uh, how are you, ladies? Played up. Yeah. Oh, uh, couldn't you play drafts or something? We have enough drafts when we're working, thank you. Oh, we'll have to uh, see what we can do. I brought something for you to take. Oh, not more germs. Nice ones this time. One more germ in me and they won't have room to park. <laughs> this smells like gin. Gin? Oh, how extraordinary. did not it? I couldn't tell if it was neat carbolic. Yes, well, we often notice that. A bad head cold has the most extraordinary effect on the olfactory and gustatory nerves. The what? The pong. Oh. Dr. Flower, come on. Dr. Burke, still resisting strongly. You know, you're the most beautiful girl I've ever clapped stethoscope on. <laughs> Silly. No, I mean it. I mean it, honestly. Now, tell me more about yourself. Bear your soul to me. My soul? Mm -hmm. No one's ever asked to see that before. <laughs> Do you like being a doctor? Oh, yes. What do you do? Uh, research, mostly. Oh, how you must have suffered for your art. It must have been dreadful giving six shows a day at the windmill. Oh, it was. Just think, being stuck in that dreary place 12 hours non-stop. Couldn't do anything, go anywhere. Oh, you poor child. Yes. We used to call it the prison without bras. <laughs> <laughs> Covered by insurance in your work. About all we are covered by. <laughs> <laughs> How's your cold? Oh, I don't know. I'm getting pretty <laughs> cold. <laughs> yeah. Dawn and me were fed to the teeth for this fortnight, but things are looking up now. It's not over yet, darling. <laughs> oh, tell me, have you ever broken your clavicles? Broken? Mm -hmm. They aren't breakable, are they? <laughs> your clavicles are your collarbones. <laughs> oh, I see. <laughs> now, what do you do in your act? I'm a canary. A what? A canary. I come onto the stage all covered in feathers. And what? <laughs> I moult. <laughs> oh, Professor, Hello? excuse me. But there's something that I think you ought to know. Yes. It's about those young ladies. Yes. I was passing the hut and... Uh, oh, come on, don't flap. Well, I heard the most extraordinary noises. And I rather got the impression that they're not isolated. And this was thrown through the window. Now, come on, girls. Show us what you really do in the show. Hmm? I tell you, we can't. Oh. We haven't got our costumes here. We'll imagine this. We must have our costumes. <laughs> 
Oh, couldn't you make do with um, bottle tops or something? Oh, don't be so inartistic. Bottle tops. Oh, I'm sorry. I was only trying to be helpful. Well, I suppose we could give them an idea. <laughs> that wouldn't be difficult. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on. You were the one who was feeling homesick. A workout would do you good. Not in bottle tops, it wouldn't. <laughs> well, we could find something. Oh, all right. We'll have to get ready and rehearse. Oh, of course, of course. Now, turn around and don't look. Don't look. Certainly. <laughs> We'll wait in here. Uh, they need sterilizing. Good afternoon, ladies, and how are we feeling? Never felt better. Oh, really? With a cold? What cold? It's the wonderful <gasps> new germs we've been having, Richie, my darling. Will you kindly explain? <laughs> May one ask where you ladies obtained this? Dr. Flower, isolate yourself this instant. Yes, Professor, of course. I insist on knowing where you got this from. The doctors brought it. What doctors? I don't know. You don't know? Where are they now, might one ask? Sterilizing themselves. This <laughs> is disgraceful. It's months. I have never known such crass infringement of the rules. Crass infringement of the rules. It's an orgy. An, an orgy? You evil men! Be <laughs> Get up, Dr. Flower! Stop this horseplay! Oh, Professor. I suppose you ladies realize that you violated our strictest rule. We never touched him. What are you going to do, report us to equity? Pack up, please, and leave the establishment instantly. You've ruined our entire research on you. Cut along, Dr. Flower, and adjust your dress. Roke be Venus. <laughs> Aberdeen Angus. <laughs> <laughs> 